Hello and welcome back to Star Control 2 with Draku. I decided to look at the damn setup menu and found out what the controls are, so now let's try this again. <laughs> Hot damn, that was uh that was something. Alright, yeah. Uh how far back did I need to go? Was I it just in case shit. <laughs> Uh, I need to go back to Mer to Mercury. Good. <laughs> Let's do this again. <laughs> oh, this game is gonna be the death of me. All right. So let me just go ahead and dispatch back down. Oh wait, no. We've already collected that. Okay. Shit. Yeah. Sweet. All right. In that case, navigate the hell out of here. <clears throat> Also, spacebar brings up my uh, menu. Didn't know that. Notice that one. Um, right. Anyway, back to what we were doing. It's control, by the way. Shift and control. Right shift and right control. Those are the default buttons with Wasad. Uh, why? Every t every time? Every time. Every t the turning on this ship is the worst I've ever seen. Oh, if I still missed that, I would have been pissed. Uh, and before I go and talk to them, hang, hang on, let me just, uh, space, game, save, cause, uh, <laughs> doing dumb things, yes, that, that's about right, there we go, back to navigation, alright, let's get this done, Did you find any okay, I can spe speed that forward, thank god, alright, we're ready to transfer, getting start of the hmm, Right. Back to what we were doing. Something about, uh. Abandoned. There we go. Human! Blah, blah, blah. Alright, there we go. Alright, so let's do this for real this time. I know what I'm doing. Sort of. Well, not. Oh! I can't fire? I can't fire. Why? All right. So I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna just pause, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now that I've done a few uh, adjusting, I've now rebound the keys to F for my weapon and C for the special. Now I think I'll be able to fight. <laughs> I was looking at the arrow command setup, so let me continue to do more dumb things. Thank god I'm not just set all the way back at the very beginning. So, let me get back to the station somehow. Yes, there we go. <clears throat> yada yada yada, we're back to where we were. It's had a secret, blah 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 blah. Ah, fight the Urk, I remember. That was the blood. Blah 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 blah. We found the base. And look, there's Zerquan spider shit. Let me go fight that. By the fetid of human. A human, and, and skipping, and... Right. Okay, so, time to work. Time to do this thing. Alright, so I do have that. Fuck you! Gravity slingshot and little punk. That's not good. That's really not good. Okay. <laughs> I, can I say just how much I hate them? And how much I hate not having proper... Oh, this game is going to drive me up a bloomin' wall. Uh, no kidding. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Right, t try a number... Whatever the hell number this is. I keep... I'm just circling around this stupid... Alright. I'm gonna reload again. <laughs> don't make me use cheats. Don't make me use cheats, game. Please don't make me use... Uh, there are cheats available, by the way. If I have to use them, I will use them. Because... Oh. The ship control is god-awful, by the way. Let me... Let me just... Point out how bad the controls are. It controls like a cow. And it turns like a cow. 
<coughs> it is sluggish as hell. And I will beat this. I will fucking beat this somehow. Somehow I will beat this. Alright. Look, look at how bad my turning is. Do you see how bad it is? I can't control it. Holy shit. I actually did that. What a beautiful sight, Captain. I haven't seen an Avenger blown away like that since the battle in Draco. I guess you've shown that you can handle yourself in battle, Captain. So my last reservation about helping you has been dissolved. I will commit this station to helping free Earth and defeat the Urquan. We may get our atoms rearranged in the process, but by God, Captain, we're going to try. So the obvious first step is to get the precursor equipment and software over here so that we can make it work with our ship repair fabricators. But then what, Captain? All right. <laughs> All of these other options are so dumb. But yeah, we'll build up our fleet and we'll kick their ass. Or their knee, knee equivalents, whatever. A sensible plan, Captain. Let's get to work. Good luck. By the way, Captain, I think we need a name for this new alliance we're going to forge. And since it was your idea, it's only fair that you get the honor of naming it. Oh, so, God. What will it be? Uh, it's the new, new alliance of new free stars. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure, we'll go with the new... It's the new alliance. <laughs> okay, that sounds pretty inspiring. So be it. The new alliance of free stars. Now, Captain, I expect the configuration process for the starbase to take at least two weeks, so let's get to work. Right. All right. So this is a Star Control 2. I have good news to report, Captain. We have successfully integrated the precursor technology from your ship into our fabricator system, and as you can see, we've already begun minor repairs on your ship, patching up some of the micrometeorite holes. We noticed that your ship does not have an emergency warp escape unit, so our engineers rigged up some for you and each of your escorts. Okay. Now, you should be able to escape from a bad situation with the touch of a button. But there is a cost, however. The unit gulps up five fuel units each time your precursor ship uses it. Also, we now have a limited capacity to make modifications to your ship, to refine starship fuel, to build additional combat ships, and to train new members of your crew for the flagship and any ships you acquire for your fleet. Captain, I know you're eager to get to work, so I'll be brief. If you have any questions how this starbase works, what resources we need, or just some background information on the galaxy, don't hesitate to ask. Alright, so there's going to be a lot of questions and a lot of talking in this episode. I can already tell you right now. I'm going to pause it and stop it when it gets too long and we'll just continue on in the next episode. But in the meantime, uh, could... God, can we please fix the turn rate on this ship? Because it's a piece of shit. <laughs> right now. Ah, uh, what... Do I choose? Yeah, I've got some minerals to offload. The more minerals you bring us, Captain, the faster we'll be able to tackle the Urquan. All right. Uh, before proceeding, I got some additional. I need. I need some. Tell me what the fuck's going on. Certainly, Captain. What do you need to know? Uh. Yeah. What's uh? What would you would you elaborate here on your, the facilities here at the starbase? We can modify your precursor ship, build additional combat vessels, and supply you with fuel and crew. Nice. I can get more crew because I just lost about twenty of them, so that'll be helpful. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, what can you do to enhance it? Our engineers and precursor specialists agree with the scientists from your world that your starship was designed to be a workhorse vehicle, which could be easily reconfigured for different missions by adding or swapping self-contained equipment packs, which we call modules. The modules we can build right now are thruster units, which make your ship move faster, Thank God. attitude jets, which allow you to rotate the ship more quickly, yes. crew pods, which provide life support facilities for up to 50 additional crew members storage bays which increase your ship's cargo capacity for mineral resources fuel tanks which hold an additional 50 units of fuel dynamos which feed energy into your combat energy batteries improving your weapons rate of fire 
And last but not least, ion bolt guns, combat weaponry, the exact function of which depends on its location aboard the ship. When put in the first or front module slot, it fires a single shot forward. When put in the second slot, it fires two shots, spread to the left and right of center. When put in the third slot, it fires two shots directly left and right. And when put in the last or rear slot, it fires a single shot straight backwards. All right, neat. There was a lot of depth to this game, by the way. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> there was a lot. How the hell do I get fuel? This base is designed to serve as hierarchy ships. Fortunately, your flagship uses the same stabilized antimatter technology as hierarchy vessels and will be able to synthesize what you need. However, due to the size of your ship, we'll have to produce vast quantities of fuel, which will be a substantial drain on our resources. Okay, got it. Our shipyard facilities are sophisticated and fully automated, permitting a handful of star-based personnel to do the same job as 500 vac-suited construction workers. However, the only designs that we had in our computers were incomplete hierarchy ship designs. Things looked grim until one of the officers came forward with an amazing story. Even though the Urquan destroyed every Earthling cruiser in the fleet nearly 20 years ago, one of my maintenance engineers was a starship production assistant at the Detroit shipyard. When Earth was conquered, she was ordered to destroy all ship construction databases. But she secretly made copies of the blueprint disk and then kept them with her ever since. These disks contain all the data we need to build as many Earthling cruisers as you want, provided you, Captain, can supply the large amounts of mineral resources required to build those vessels. In theory, Captain, we could build alien starships here if we had designs for them. However, it's a well-known fact that alien vessels just can't be flown in combat without native starship captains at the helm. Yep, good to know. All right. Uh, I need more personnel because I just lost a shit ton. I'm not going to reload because it didn't blow up at least, but my god, I lost a bit of crew. We have almost 2,000 highly motivated, skilled professionals aboard this starbase, and every single one of them wants a berth aboard your starship. However, each hand we lose to your ship means less manpower here at the starbase, and this is reflected in the crew RU cost. As long as you don't lose too many crew members to combat or planet exploration, the RU cost will remain static. But we have only so many warm bodies on this starbase, and if your needs for crew grow beyond a certain point, the cost could increase dramatically. Got it. As you know, Captain, we've committed the entire output of this station to building your flagship and your battle fleet into the strongest force possible. However, our resources are very limited, and we feel you must decide how we are to spend our effort and materials. To aid you in making these decisions, we have implemented a resource allocation scheme. We provide you with a numerical assessment of the station's resources and ascribe a cost to each task we can perform and each device we can build. It's up to you to decide how you're going to spend your resource units, or RU as we call them. To acquire more RU, you must bring resources back to the starbase. These resources can be either in the form of mineral ores gathered from planet surfaces or already refined metals and other valuable materials from the wreckage of enemy starships. All right. Uh, let's see. The most straightforward way you can accumulate resource units is to bring mineral ores back to this star base. There are probably enough resources in just the nearby dozen stars to build your ship into a powerful battleship or to create a strong task force of combat vessels. I would also recommend that you build several additional storage bays. When gathering minerals, focus on cleaning out one star system at a time. This way, you minimize the cost of travel through hyperspace. Yeah, fair. All right. Uh... While I respect your search for abstract knowledge, frankly, Captain, in our present circumstances, I see little use for such data here. Perhaps you can make use of biological information elsewhere. Got it. What else can I tell you? Uh... Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because uh, this has been a lot of talking and I'm just going to continue to talk to this guy in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. I'm glad I finally beat that stupid ship and uh, we'll see how things go in the future here. Bye for now.